So, well, we're in Dwyer Center, but this is what this, what is this here? The an article about the uh, the Dwyer, how these this group of three brothers mm -hmm, mm -hmm. worked together for over twenty years to get this building, and the building was an abandoned warehouse called the Dwyer, mm -hmm. and they transformed it. They got finally they got the contractor to work with them. They went through all kind of stuff over 20 years. And really, now, yeah. upstairs is condos and this lower level, and the first floor is the Dwyer Cultural Center. Okay, so, so the condos sort of pay for the center? The, the, yeah, well, the center owns the building, but the contractors, so that's a whole separate entity. Mm -hmm. But the Dwyer Cultural Center. When you say these brothers, I mean, I mean, I mean, when you do this, just tell me who they are. Just Adam Mulder, Luke Fowler. Cliff Frazier and Voza Rivers. Oh, Voza! Oh, Voza, yeah, we love, Voza. we love Voza. Voza's part of the, mm -hmm. the everyone's world, and mm -hmm. this was the actual older building. Mm -hmm. And now all of this is now condos, and mm -hmm. we have the the entrance level, mm -hmm. and then downstairs. This is over two thousand feet. Yeah. Now, when, when did they finally make the deal? Two thousand nine is when we opened. Okay. And, and they had worked over 22 years wow. to just get it. Persistence. This is a bus of Cliff. He passed away in February. Mm. His birthday was Saturday. Saturday, okay. Well, peace and blessings on his yes. eternal soul. He started the New York this is like, let me just A benevolent servant he was to a man. top actor in his day. He came in from Detroit as Woody King. Oh yeah, we know Woody. Well, Woody's part of our history too. Cliff started the New York Metropolitan Martin Luther King Center for Nonviolence, which is an NGO of the UN. And when, when did he start that? With you? This was uh, maybe it was in the seventies after he passed. No, no probably the the, the the two thousand. Oh, okay. Doc, when did the Cliff form the New York Metropolitan? When what? When did he form this? In eighteen years ago, fifteen years ago, New York Martin Luther King. Yeah, this is from 2018. Oh, yeah. so oh, the 20th was the 20th anniversary in 2018. Okay, but so it was not the first time that it was. Yeah, mm. yeah. This is this yeah. is from 2018. Mm. No, but the no, but, but he the, the, what, the organization is mm. 20 years old. The New York Metropolitan Martin Luther King Center. Mm. Yeah, it goes all the way back. It's older than 20 years old. Mm. Okay, why did he start it? Why did he start it? What, 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 why did he start it? Yeah. What was, what was, what was, what was yeah. Um, what was his inspiration? His inspiration was, after, Cliff is a tremendous actor. Mm -hmm. uh, after King got uh, assassinated, he dedicated, he dedicated his life then to uplifting uh, his people mm -hmm. and um, decided to pursue exactly that. What could he do to uplift his people? Mm -hmm. uh, so he abandoned what could have been a very lucrative acting career to form this organization, and also he was the founder of a charter school in the Bronx, mm -hmm. the Harry Tubman Charter School, mm -hmm. which was the first um, uh, uh, charter school uh, authorized by the New York State of Regents. Mm -hmm. So Cliff is a tremendous person. He we lost him in February, um, but um, you can see if you look at some of the pictures here. This is some of the interaction that we had with the United Nations uh -huh. well, this is, uh, uh, okay, over then. the years. Yeah. And of course... Oh, this is at, uh, what church is this? What, what, uh, what cathedral is this? Looks like a big cathedral. One of the, the, big, the biggest thing that Cliff did, mm -hmm. aside from co-founding this organization was... What's the name of the organization now? Well, this is the International Communications Association, okay. and we're in the Dwyer Cultural Center, which is part of ICA. Mm -hmm. But Cliff was either uh, directed or was an administrator of three critical organizations that changed the face mm -hmm. of the media, film, uh, television industry. Mm -hmm. The Community Film Workshop Council, Institute for New Cinema Artists, and Third World Cinema. Mm -hmm. These three organizations trained... Uh, 
virtually thousands of people to uh, work behind the scenes in the industry and was able to put all these people to work. Mm -hmm. You have one of the uh, one of the alumni right here, Mr. Vincent Davis, who was the current president. He succeeded yeah. Cliff, uh, and he is one of. He's people. too intense, man. We, we we can't talk to this guy. He's too intense. Look at him. I'm intense, <laughs> but he is. What was the third world you from? Uh, Inca. Inca. And this is a new cinema artist. He is uh, one of the alumni. I don't know where, what, what, what is, oh, you're, you're busy on your phone. I can't bother you. Yes, I can. Yes, you can. Now, when you, um, I see all these nice pictures of people. That's Cliff Fraser, yeah. and that's Nima Barnett. Mm -hmm. And underneath that winning, is. Winning, winning, uh, winning uh, uh, they won the uh, Emmy. Uh, Emmy, yeah, for what? When, do you remember what it I was? I think it's called, um, what's the name it of that? It's been a television like, name. Television show. It was called. It was called. Um, it was called. Look it up on Google right now because I can't actually yeah. no, remember the name. Of it. Yeah. I can't figure. The bombing photo is Nima Barnett with her uh, lovely hairdo, mm. Oprah Winfrey and Ava DuVernay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. At an event. Now, now, how did how did you get involved with uh, with all this? What was your how did I become a member of the Institute of New Cin Cinema Artists? Yeah, where are you from? I'm from where, the Bronx. Where in the Bronx? Way uptown. Where, what's way uptown? Near Gun Hill Road, near the Charles High School. Oh, yeah. Uh, my uh, <coughs> my first wife went to Evander Charles, unfortunately. I for went that. to Evander. <laughs> Well, yeah, she went to, went to well, yeah, did I graduate? Yeah. I can't remember. But did you, <laughs> did, did you know down the block from the Vanda is where they um, filmed the Godfather movie? Um, when, Michael, when Michael shoots the cop in mm. Salasso. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was in that restaurant across the street from Gun Hill Projects. Mm. Um, anyway, a friend of mine who I had, he was older than me. He was a member of... Uh, um, one of the one of the programs here, and I came, had came, come home from college, and he had asked me, and I saw him on the train, and he had asked me what I was interested in. I told him I was interested in the music industry and stuff, and he said, and he started telling me about um, the programs here. Um, I here, spent, here, here, meaning not at Dwight, Dwight, not at Dwight, not back then. Yeah, yeah, where but, were you? Um, in, that was in the programs that were um, in development and that were actually taking place. And um, so he said that. But where was the location? Where was that at? Uh, well, one location, well, it was on 30, 34, 35th Street and 8th Avenue. Oh, okay. In Manhattan. That's, I think that's where the first um, offices were. Mm. And so um, he told me that. I had seen him, I was, I was home from college and uh, from, for a spring break. And he said that. So that was in the 70s? It might have been in the 80s. Okay, 80s. Okay. So. Um, he said that I'm gonna call you and let you know more about it when you know when it takes place. He actually called me. You know, some people say you didn't even call. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't really call. He called me. Um, I was lucky enough to get into the program, um, and uh, I excel from there. I worked for Arista. I got a job. Uh, I got a college internship working for Arista Records. After about. Maybe close to a year oh, so you working uh, you in Arista. I got a job in Arista. Mm -hmm. And then uh, okay. I worked there for about three oh. years, four years. Let me talk. You and uh, a few things I went into business for myself after that. I got laid off. They they merged with a larger company. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and I just, you know, I became a successful record producer. Mm. It was just as, as simple as that. Yeah, well, did you have your own, own division at the label? I mean, what, what did you control? Um, I had my own company when I left. I created my own company called Entertainment. Mm -hmm. A lot of hit artists that you may have, rec in, you may have the records in your collection. I, I doubt it. I don't do hip hop that much. It's not just hip hop. What you got? Keep sweat. Okay. In okay. touch. Okay. Um, no, no, no! Don't go do your list, man. It's going to be too long. Nah, we ain't got all day for this. Why? Right, but that's what happened. <laughs> I'm messing with you. I'm sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. sorry. I mean, I don't mind telling you that I'm a very talented person. Uh -huh. You know, I have like skills and abilities far beyond those of mortal men. Yeah, where, where, where does that come from? I'm not doing not only the confidence, but just the, the skills and how did you develop? I just, it? you know, I have a, I just have a, uh, a, a belief in myself that you know, mm. if there's something I want to do, I can do it. Mm. Then I have to ask the, the, the I, I hate to ask these stock questions, no, but, but but how do you, that kind of ability, uh, 
you you have to want to pass it on. You know what I mean? So have you mentored people? I try. I mean, and uh, you're right because when I be, when I became an intern in Arista, there were people who worked there for some reason liked me, mm. and they went out of their way to help me, and they make uh, they may they help make a way for me to you know learn the things that I needed to learn because when I first worked in there I mean I just had a lot of desire and charm and personality but I didn't have the slightest idea of um, mm -hmm. most of the things that I was that I was supposed to be doing and you know they walked me through it and you know they this one guy Hank Talbot who I'll always be indebted to he was the um, vice president and one thing I said about Hank not only was Hank talented but nobody wore a sports jacket and, 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 and slacks better than Hank. See, I prefer suits because with a suit, you don't have to match the pants and the jacket. It's just, mm -hmm. it's just one, a one match thing. But Hank could wear, I swear Hank could you like put on a sports jacket and find the right slacks and look great in it. But um, I digress. But Hank, um, you know, he made it possible. He, you know, he, he sat me down, told me what the things that I needed to learn and you know, he gave me lessons anytime I had a question for him. He, you know, he he answered my questions. He was always there for me. Um, and you know, he made phone calls on my behalf. He called somebody up and said, "I'm sending this guy over to you. I need you to take care of him and you know, and help him out and stuff like that." You know. Uh, so respect, 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 old respect, old respect. It's, it, 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 it's like a chain. Okay, well, uh, we, we, we're going to stop talking with you because you're just too much for the camera, you know. What's your name again? Vincent Davis. Vincent I'm Davis. I'm not really a camera person. I mean, I don't... Yes, you are. I don't think I am. Uh, no, because the confidence... See, the camera is nothing, nothing but the confidence that people see in through your eyes and inside your soul. That's oh. all. That's all it is, you know. I've got confidence. Dave, what's I'm saying? I've always had confidence. Yeah, yeah. That's, okay. probably, that's probably why, you know, it, it, can, it can cause problems sometimes. Uh, no, no. Well, well, yeah, perhaps. Well, one more, um, I guess one last thing. I'm always lying, but don't worry about that part. So what do you do here? Now, how did you end up? Uh, are you the administrator? Are you the big cat here? What's what's going on here? I'm told I'm the president. You're the president. You got a title. Yeah. <laughs> I'm laughing because, you know, when people say president or CEO, I just laugh and say, oh, I, I know what that means. They then got you on some kind of hook. They, 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 you got they got a lot of hooks on me. <laughs> I'm hooked. I'm hooked up. I just, you don't see the strings? <laughs> okay, man. Take slap. I really appreciate it. Not a problem.